Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to create this video to share with you how you can start calisthenics as a beginner and build up your base strength so you can work up to harder things such as muscle ups and human flags and dragon flags and all of these other advanced and intermediate calisthenics exercises because there's so many people that get into calisthenics and they try to do really hard calisthenics exercises too quickly and haven't built that base strength and then you can run into injuring yourself and you're just setting yourself up to maybe not make yourself feel so good because you feel that you can't do those things when it's understandable why you can't do them so yeah the four different exercises i'm going to share with you in this video is push-ups pull-ups chin-ups and dips and I'm going to show you how to do the form correctly for each different one and for people that can't do it without assistance I'm going to show you how you can make it easier and how you can slowly get to doing it without any assistance or whatsoever so first off I'm going to do the dips and explain how you could do them with perfect form so yeah obviously you need some bars like this and when you come up, make sure you're not like down here with your shoulders or like back like that. Make sure you're pushing through your hands and you're completely straight up like this. I said not down like this, not back like this or forward like that. There are different ones where you can move back or forward, but for a standard dip, you want to do it how I've just mentioned. And yeah, how you do a dip is very simple. Keep your body as straight as possible. You can have your knees like that if your feet are going to touch the ground and come down and you want your arms, this point, to go down so it's completely flat here. You can go down lower, but that's going to be harder. And for some people, it can cause shoulder issues and injuries to some people. So make sure that you're really warmed up before. And yeah, as with any training you do in calisthenics, make sure you warm up for about five to 10 minutes before, because otherwise you can run into some injury issues and that's the last thing that you want. So I'm just going to demonstrate to you some dips so all the way down like this and make sure your elbows are going backwards they're not flaring outwards that's not good form at all and you have a risk of injuring yourself and this is a really good workout for your triceps also your chest a bit of your shoulders as well and it's going to help you build that base strength So you may be thinking, well, I haven't got enough strength. I can't actually do a full dip without any assistance. So as you can see here, I've got three different resistance bands. This is one of the thinnest ones you can get, but you can get ones way thicker than this. So say that you're finding it really, really hard. You can't do it. You get a resistance bands like this and you'd actually hold it here. But when you stand on it, only stand on the bottom one. If you stand on the top one as well, your feet are hardly gonna go down low to the floor. So then what you do is like this, go all the way down, like so. And for me, this is ridiculously easy. <laughs> but yeah, what you can do is start off with a band where you can actually do the dips, where it's challenging you a bit and it's not too easy. So you can tear the muscle fibers and grow the muscle fibers and increase your strength. And then as it becomes easier, you would then switch over to one that then challenges you again. So, for example, this red one. So the red one hardly assists me like at all. And then, yeah, just keep working your way down to thinner and thinner resistance bands. And then you get to a point where you don't need any resistance bands whatsoever. And if you want recommendations for resistance bands, there will be links down below for each one. And in some gyms, if you're gonna to go to a gym, you can find a machine where it actually adds weight onto it and you can do assisted dips where it's actually helping you by adding weight onto there so it's not as hard to do. And I'll try and put a video here showing you what that actually looks like so I probably haven't explained that in great detail. So now we're gonna go on to pull-ups and pull-ups are a really hard exercise to do even for me it's very very challenging especially if you're a beginner most people can't even do a pull-up one single one with good form 
when this started out. So if you can't, don't worry, it's absolutely fine, but you're gonna build up to that. So, what you do is if you can't do any pull-ups, get yourself one of the thicker, stronger resistance bands, like I have here, to assist you and get you to a point where you can do a full pull-up. And then what you do is put your foot on it like here, and what you want is your arms about shoulder width apart. Your body as straight as possible, but what you're gonna find with resistance bands, somebody can kick your feet out a bit, but don't worry. And pull up to your chest and put your chin just over the top of the bar or to the bar. So yeah, I'm gonna show you now. And this bar's actually quite low, so my feet's touching the ground, but I can't do anything about that right now. So yeah, pull up like so, and you bend all the way down so your arms are fully extended. Don't be doing these like half reps that I see people do in the gym, these. Doesn't look good. And it's not doing the full range of motion. So you're not just gonna get the full benefits from this exercise. So yeah, all the way up. And if you wanna make it harder, as it gets easier, use a resistance band that is not as thick and not as strong. Or you can even do like height ones like up here. And yeah, and what I would say with each exercise, once you're able to do 12 reps with them, you wanna make it more challenging. So say you get to a point where you can do 12 reps and you feel like you could do more with this band, go down to a band that's gonna challenge you more. And you wanna do at least three rounds of each of these exercises. And you may wanna throw in a couple of other different upper body exercises alongside these four that I'm sharing with you now. And then, yeah, obviously, as you get a lot stronger with this, and you get to the lowest like red resistance band, it might be a different color for you, for the one that I'm gonna recommend. You can then get to a point where you do a full pull up. Stop one, so like up, like so. And try and bring it up to your chest. Full range of motion. And that, over time, as you get better and better and stronger with it, it's gonna be one of the things that help you to progress to be able to do a full muscle up over time, which so many people wanna be able to do it. I know that for me, it was one of the things that I really wanted to learn. So just build that base strength over time. What I found is by doing these basics and some other ones over time, I then one day tried to do a muscle up and I could just do it. So I knew that I needed to build up my base strength. Don't rush yourself and try and do things that are a lot harder to quickly. So now we're going to go on to the push-ups. So with the push-ups, a lot of people again cannot do push-ups straight away. So yeah, what you want to do, if you cannot do them straight away, do knee push-ups. That's one of the ways that you can progress to a full push-up. So what you want is your knees about hip width apart, and your arms and you come to here with your shoulders directly stacked above your hands and arms like so not like this not like over there because you're not doing pseudo plank push-ups or different types of push-ups so then what you do is you come down all the way to here and then all the way back up make sure you're doing that full range of motion again don't be doing like this just see some people do which is ridiculous don't have your head down here or here, keep it like parallel with your body. So go all the way down, like so. And make sure you're not flaring out your elbows. Again, high risk of causing yourself shoulder damage and injuries. So be very careful of that. Make sure you're doing it with your arms bending backwards, not like that. This is the proper form and it's harder and it's gonna challenge you more. But yeah, you wanna be making sure you're doing the form as good as possible. There'll be a lot of people that say, oh, I could do so many push-ups in a row. And lots of them you look at the form and then it's really bad. And when you get them to do perfect form, it's really hard. And what you can also do is as well, when you get to 12 of those and it's becoming too easy, you can then start to do like push-ups on something that's elevated. 
and make sure that your bum is engaged and your legs and your core otherwise you're going to be like this so try and keep your body completely straight tense that bum and your legs and then this is a little bit hard to actually do it because it's round but yeah you then go like this and with this one the lower the platform is that you're doing the push-ups on the harder it's going to be so what you could also do as well as the knee push-ups you could also do it on a higher thing like this which to me it's going to be ridiculously easy but for some people it's not so yeah just hold on to the bar like so full range of motion again and as it becomes easier so say you could do 12 on this and it becomes too easy then get a platform that is lower and then as it becomes easier i do it lower and lower and lower so you could do a combination of these ones and with different platform heights and also the knee push-ups as well but yeah be patient it's going to take you a while some people it's going to take them longer than others to develop that base strength to be able to do all these different exercises without any assistance whatsoever and then yeah as you get to be able to do like 12 standard push-ups and you can do like three rounds of them then you want to be doing like modifications for a, for example this targets the chest even more and the triceps so the diamond push-ups so as you see my hands are in like a diamond shape here and then you go down and then you can even do wide push-ups which are really good for target in the chest as well especially the outside area of the chest again elbows backwards not like that like that and then as you get better you can even do archer push-ups which a lot of people really like but yeah remember I could definitely not do those types at the start so just keep going and going be disciplined be consistent no slacking off and yeah it's going to be painful but push through the pain because if you don't you ain't going to get those gains so now we are on to the chin-ups I'm going to actually going to get some of these bands a bit different we actually use the black one shortly um, and yeah similar to the pull-up keep your body like as straight as possible full range of motion but with this one instead of having your hand around hands around like that for a pull-up have them underneath which is known as a supinated grip and again have them about shoulder width apart and squeeze as much as possible when you're doing any calisthenics exercises that you include your hands on a bar squeeze it as much as possible it's going to increase your grip strength and it makes you able to do more reps and just have better form as well so up like so and it's called a chin up for a reason you go up to your chin like here And yeah, it's obviously easier for me because my feet is going on the ground. So you can do that to make it easier for you. But I recommend just trying to not have something underneath you like this. Try and have a gap underneath your feet so you can fully extend out without your feet touching the floor. And yeah, again with this one, as it gets easier, you can do 12 reps of three, then modify it and make it more challenging for you. And then as you get better, you'll be able to do it without any assistance whatsoever yeah and make sure that your thumb is around don't have it round like this I'll show you quickly now not like this if you come round here quickly and we show them so you see how my hands are now don't have it like that have your thumb around like so
And when you're doing anything with a supinate grip where it's round like that rather than that, it's targeting more of your biceps. So these exercises like the pull-ups and chin-ups will help with building your back, also your chest, your biceps, and other different parts of your upper body. And yeah, I'm breathing quite deeply now. <laughs> Make sure that when you are doing the exercises, you're not holding your breath. Try and do circular breathing. Like so try and be as mindful as you can. It's gonna be quite challenging for a lot of people. And if you wanna slow down your heart rate, breathe in through your nose. Because breathing in and out of your mouth is adrenaline breathing. And it can overstimulate your nervous system for some people. And for some people it makes it really hard to finish their workouts because it can make you feel sick. So yeah, if you follow what I'm saying and do it consistently, it's gonna help you get the results that I have with my physique. And as you can see, I have quite a low body fat with quite well-defined muscles. I have more of a body of a calisthenics athlete rather than a bodybuilder. And yeah, this is gonna help you get those gains. And all of these other advanced calisthenics exercises that people wanna to work towards that just look really cool and impressive. And look, here's some clips to show you what I am able to do as of this current moment. And as you can see, I have gained a lot of strength and that was all within one year of doing calisthenics and eating correctly and just having a healthy lifestyle that just helped optimize my testosterone production, my human growth hormone production and my muscle gains and also my recovery time as well. And yeah, as you get better and better and better, also your stamina is going to increase, your endurance is going to increase, but make sure that you're getting enough rest time between each workout otherwise you can burn out your adrenals mess up your immune system and it's going to actually have a negative effect on you increasing your strength and your muscle size and it's going to reduce your recovery time as well and it can actually just affect your muscle gains overall so it's something to be very very aware of because there's too many people that push themselves too much and they're not rebuilding the body enough they're more in a state of being catabolic rather than anabolic where you're building yourself up they're breaking themselves down too much so remember to train hard but train smart and also just allow yourself to sleep as much as you need to rest as much as you need to make sure you're trying to eat as healthy diet as possible with as much plant-based food in and make sure you're staying well hydrated because yeah it's not all about training it's about all the other things that you're doing to give you the best results with improving your physique so to speak and your strength can help you get up to those harder calisthenics exercises. So yeah, that's it for this video. And I will be making other different videos that will connect to this first part of this how to start calisthenics as a beginner series. So stay tuned for that. The other videos you can expect to get that will follow this one is like beginner calisthenics leg exercises, beginner calisthenics ab exercises and other different types of videos as well to help you go in the direction of getting that physique and the strength that you desire as well so yeah if you have any comments or questions leave them down below don't forget to like the video if you like the video if you don't give us a thumbs down i don't mind and don't forget to share this video with anyone that you think may want to get into calisthenics or that could benefit from this video that's just started calisthenics as well and just wants to help themselves get the best results as quickly as possible and yeah if you'd like to receive more videos like this on a regular basis and also other calisthenics informational videos intermittent fasting videos plant-based nutrition videos and all other different types of videos to teach you the information to go in the direction of gaining and maintaining then the fitness levels that you desire the energy levels and help you get that dream physique that you've always wanted make sure that you do click that subscribe button down below and you do click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and i have new ones coming almost every single week so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace